Right, hello, welcome to this tutorial. Um, what I'm going to be showing you here today is how to use the pattern make tool. Um, it's, it's something I use almost every day. Um, it really kind of enriches the, the, um, the whole illustrator vector based imagery. So, um, really simple tool to use, um, but like I said, real powerful. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is say you have a, pet, have a little vector image like this and we can make uh, these really powerful um, seamless patterns that you can then just chop and change between um, yeah so let's get into it. I'll show you two different different ones. The one is that basically kind of simple um, your simple pattern um, and then this one's more intricate whereas it overlaps and becomes kind of seamless um, yeah let's take this all right so the first one we'll do um, nice and easy object pattern make it's as simple as that um, you'll get a little options panel um, let's name it turn uh, the next little option that you see here is the grid um, or the, the type of tile so yeah you can change between uh, brick by column, brick by row real cool ones um, hex column it just kind of slightly overlaps everything what you'll have to worry about here is the overlap um, but we'll, we'll get to that in um, in the, the other pattern what I'm just going to do here is go brick by row um, nice and easy you can, and then you can change how much it overlaps and all of that. Um, this is quite a um, useful tool. I mean, what I normally find is when I print these tool, print these patterns, um, it'll be there'll be little white stripes in between all the patterns. So what I normally like to do is I, I click size tile to art, so then it'll make it exactly the same size, deselect it, and then make it slightly smaller, just ever so slightly, so you don't have um, any chance of uh, of little white lines showing it actually fills the whole thing with the, the background color um, these are the overlap stuff but it's, like I said you'll we'll get into that it's quite a useful little tool for more complicated um, patterns which we'll get into it again but for the meantime with this pattern you can just click done and it'll save it uh, it's now in these little swatches so if we click and drag or we um, use something a little bit more complicated um, yeah so that's that pattern tool um, let's get rid of that so then the more more complicated ones this is something that you want like a real overlapped um, little overlapped kind of pattern um, so same again uh, pattern make you'll see that it just takes the size of your artwork and chucks it into what it should be. So, um, what, first you just give it a name, rows. Um, leave it as as grid pattern, or you can you know you can change it to whatever. But for this mean for this we'll just leave it as that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go 45, so just a bit smaller. Um, this gives me space to start to work with the the pattern and then what I'll do is I'll dim the copies so this is the exterior stuff I'll dim that to just 80% so so I know what's pattern uh, what's the kind of native artwork right so first things first we've got the overlap set so that it it'll overlap on the on the right and below so I'll show you if that ha happens Pull it up. It'll overlap the so that it's the overlaps the top and on the on the left. Yeah, makes sense. So what I normally do is I just have it pretty much the same size of the little square. Uh, we we can move it in a minute to make sure that there's no uh, cutoff bits like this here and there. So we just slightly just shift over the the square until nothing's overlapping. What I'll probably do here is move this um, so 
I'll use my little lasso tool. Cut my mat. Um, and then I can kind of move everything over just a just a fraction. So that it gets a little bit more seamless. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, we can turn off the dim. See what the pattern's going to be. I'm pretty happy with that. You can slowly just kind of move everything around until you get um, get it all the way you want it. Click done, and that's it. Like the, all the artwork stays there, um, and then you can, like I said before, come in here and use your thing. So that's um, using the pattern tool. Like I said, real powerful. Um, if you liked the tutorial, just click the subscribe below or give us a little thumbs up, it always helps. Um, but yeah, till next time.